Now folks, before I, before I begin here, make sure you can see what I'm going to be talking about. Because there's plenty of room, guys. <laughs> now if everybody is ready, I want to begin with this variety called Wiltshire. They put on their winter coat. Over the summer it naturally falls. We have no requirement of shearing. They are entirely for lamb. Now this one's safe. There is called Suffolk. Wherever you go in the world, if sheep are being kept, they'll know all about Suffolk. They're one of the most popular races of sheep in the world. And Friesland, coming from Friesland, northern Holland, bordering Germany, milk to the making of cheese. In Ireland we have no great history or tradition for making dairy products from sheep or goat milk, but we are diversifying within the last number of years. Mm. Here is Black Welsh, a natural black variety. If you go in a sweater shop, you will see a dark colour sweater. The label will tell you it's natural colour wool and that's the variety. Of course, you already know the milk is for Guinness. There is called Soey, S-O-A-Y. They came into the country with the Vikings. Because they're quite small and we now have bigger sheep, we do not commercially use the Soey. Shetland, Shetland wool. Herdwick originated in Sweden. Their wool is quite strong and ideal to make carpet. Here is Bother Leicester. The wool is to sweater making, they're also for lamb production. They have no bother on picking up on Channel 2 and TV3 with good adjustment. <laughs> From France, we have a modern variety called Rouge de l'Ouest. They grow quite fast and their lamb is lean rather than fat. The most unusual I have to show you guys is the Jacob sheep, which are originally Middle Eastern. Their two-colour wool is for hand-knit or handmade sweaters, and it's a characteristic of these Jacob sheep to carry the second set of horns. Hampshire will, will give us our spring lamb, sometimes referred to as Easter lamb. Here is Kerry Hill, nothing to do with our Kerry Island. They're actually from the slopes of Wales. Quaildale, popular in Yorkshire and the mountains of Scotland. And Dorset with the horns, popular Australia, New Zealand for lamb. This is our native Irish fox. We have many varieties of sheep. We have one native called Galway. And the wool is to the Aran sweater manufacturer. As you can see, it's typical Irish, easily led. <laughs> Now, any questions over these sheep, guys, you're more than welcome to ask. <coughs> Anything you need to know? Yes. Yes. Well, let me say this to you. There's quite a few 